personally for myself, I was invited to Forge from a friend. Gosh, it had to be five or six times he invited me, and every time I would come up with some excuse, I've got to test the next day, or, oh, I really needed this time to get something done. I said that I accepted Christ when I was like nine, but that was, that was a lie. Like, I just thought is what I was supposed to do. Like, my friend did it, and I was like, oh, we, how cool would it be to get baptized at the same time? And so, I just, I thought that like, all right, I'm, now I'm a Christian, and I did nothing like to show that I was a Christian. It's just eye-opening to me, like the first time I ever heard someone say that being a Christian is not going to be easy. I was like, whoa, like that's not what I want. When you start coming to Grace, every sermon, every leader, every person in your life is perfectly placed, it seemed like, and everything just kind of broke me. Um, and I realized that something, something was different about the people here. The first time I came to Forge, it was just a radical group that I saw. I was, and when, after I left, I was just left with the question of, like, why, why are these people acting the way they're acting, and why is it so much different than the community we see around us? Um, I really saw Jesus in high schoolers, and that was huge, because I didn't have people like that before. Um, and that was just the pivotal point where I could see, I could pick out a person like, man, she loves Jesus, like, that's cool. And I wanted that for the first time, like I wanted to know Jesus. Grace Church and, and just their teaching and, and their leaders and just like small groups and, and being in community had just like showed me, I was like, I am really like living a lie. I'm not really like say, like doing what I say that I am. Like I say I'm a Christian, but I'm just, I'm being like passive at home. I'm being rude to my siblings. Like, I mean, I'll be nice to my friends, but like my parents, I don't really care. Like my siblings, I don't really care. And, and I wasn't doing anything to pursue like sharing the gospel with others. Going through small group time and sitting down and having real conversations with these guys was just, I mean, it just blew my mind. Like I'd never been in an environment like that before. And then that led to me building real relationships with others around me and with the guys in my small group creating a bond between us that I know can be tested throughout anywhere. Like just cannot, you can't find that other places. When I'll talk about something that I'm struggling with, it's cool to see how they respond and I can trust them to be there for me and to pray for me and nine times out of ten they're going through the same thing that I'm going through so I don't have to worry about being judged by anyone in the group or being thought of as different as anyone else and so that's something that I'm thankful for through Forge is small groups. I think this past summer was very pivotal because I was really having just an identity crisis and not really knowing where I stood with the Lord. And I was really pouring a lot of time and energy into things such as appearance or money or relationships and not investing in the Lord. And that was when I saw that, all right, something's gotta change. And people, specific people, but in my life that made me want to desire Christ. And this summer I cultivated this desire that I hadn't had before. I mean, it was something it was crazy, and now like I'm living, and I'm like, man, I really want Jesus. Yeah, I mean, my leaders, I love those guys. Those guys have been two, uh, I've had three now, and they are just awesome guys. They're always, that kind of took church out of just that Sunday, come in and read the Bible. That really like helped breed it into my daily life and into the way that I make choices and what I do. I feel like if it weren't for Forge, then my relationships with my friends would have really like took me down. I don't, I feel like I would have just been like, I would have, the sin would have grown stronger in my life and and it really would have like taken hold of me. I feel like if I, if I didn't have people in my life to, to like show me the truth and be like, this is, this is what you need to live out. The Lord taught me that it's a progress. Like my life will never be perfect but I have a perfect God that says, hey, like I'm willing to work on these things with you, and that's cool, that's really cool.